So as they start lowering Grandpa into the grave, Aiden sees this big hole in the sand, and he's like, I want to go in, I want to go in. Oh my god. So then Kelsey sees her older brother getting so excited, and she's like, I want to go in too. It was humiliating, but I'm not a bad mother. You didn't let them go in the grave, did you? <laughs> Jump. Where were you, by the way? Everyone at the funeral was asking, and your parents really didn't know what to say. I thought I texted you. I, I really, I, I couldn't get work off. You have a job? Yes. Really? I do have a job. Like a job job? It's a job. Why is this so hard to, why are you smiling? No it's offense. It just seems like you're the type of person who the moment he finds out someone left him some money would quit. Okay. Grandpa probably left us like $10 for three of us. I mean, he was a super. He lived in a basement for 50 years. Hey, Luke. Joni. How are you? <laughs> Rich. Luke. Joey. forgotten about the ceilings in this place. Mm. Do you guys remember playing down here? Yeah, not really. Oh, my kids would love it. It's like a big fort. Oh, Luke, I totally forgot to thank you. Aiden loves his little litigator's play courtroom set you got him. Such a thoughtful birthday gift. Well, you know, I had one when I was a kid. Hey, look at you now. You know, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I mean, you're a very successful lawyer, probably, because wow. you played the litigators, you know? Grandpa's bed. Wow. It's kind of creepy, right? Yeah, it is. He died right there. He died in the bathroom. We missed you at the funeral. Oh. Sorry, I, I really wanted to be there. I just couldn't. Afford a plane ticket? No, I, I just had a lot going on. I'm happy to spot you. It wasn't that. It wasn't the money, man, okay? I, I really wanted to be there. Do you not have a suit? I have a suit. Is it black? It's navy. Well, you can't wear navy to a funeral. Dude, but you I mean, think I don't know about wearing all. what colors you're supposed to wear? You always do this shit to me. Do what shit? How many of Grandpa's funerals have you missed? Just the one. Guys? Dear Luke, Joan, and Richard, congratulations. You have outlived your grandfather. Look behind the boiler, and you'll see a red leopard print bag from Neiman Marcus that belonged to your grandmother. I have it tucked away pretty well, because sometimes the boiler explodes and leaks steam. Inside the bag, you'll find $500,000 wrapped in foil. Split it up between the three of you, however you see fit. Love, Grandpa. So, should we just split it equally? So the math on that, $166,666.67 each. Is everyone cool with that? Three people, three-way split? That seems fair. Three cousins, three sides of the family. Makes sense. You sure? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Cause this is it. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Going once. Going twice. Wait. Yeah? I don't want to sound greedy or anything, but um... But what? Well, Luke, no offense, but you're doing pretty well for yourself already. I mean, you make what, like three, four hundred thousand dollars a year? Not including my bonus, yeah. Okay. And Joan, I, I know you have kids, but Todd makes what? Like about the same, give or take? That's personal. 
but yes. And you guys just sold your starter home. What does my starter home have to do with this? Nothing, it's just, I don't have a starter home. Or a regular home, or, or a job. Or a suit. So what are you trying to sell me here, buddy? You need clothes? I'm just thinking maybe Grandpa wouldn't mind if, if, if I, if I took a larger share of the money, like, like maybe half, you know? That's not what the note says. I'm just throwing it out there. You honestly think you deserve more money than me? I have two kids. You have kids because you could already afford to have them. I can't. I could barely afford the subway down here. And you think $166,000 isn't enough? For a house? A, a car? Savings? Retirement? Unplanned medical expenses? No, I don't. Yeah, that's exactly why I am not comfortable giving up more money. You know, I want to get married too someday. No, uh, no. Maybe you, Luke? Rich, this isn't negotiable. I'm not negotiating, I'm asking. Seriously. How about Joan and I split $400,000 and you take the last hundred? Doesn't that sound fair? No, that doesn't sound fair. How is that not fair? What are you gonna do with $200,000? Gamble it away? Buy a bunch of crap you don't need? I... No. You've already proven yourself to be irresponsible with money. How? Because you don't have any. You couldn't even afford to attend Grandpa's funeral. Maybe because someone here decided to have it in the Bahamas. Grandpa wanted to be buried at Sandals Resort. It was in his will. Well, I didn't get to read the will, okay? I'm not some lawyer with VIP access to his estate. I'm 32 years old, Luke, and I've never had more than $600 in my bank account. Yeah, well, that sounds kind of like a personal problem, Rich. I know how to manage money. That doesn't make me evil. Excuse me, childcare in the Bay Area is $55,000 a year alone. Not to mention treatment for Aiden's hyperactive dissociative disorder, Kelsey's scuba lessons, college funds, mortgage, car, insurance. I think you should consider giving me more money. I mean, come on. Grandpa would be so happy knowing his money was going to help his great grandkids. He specified grandkids, not great grandkids. Shut the fuck up. You've never even met them. I believe they exist. In seven years, you have never once tried to arrange a visit. I have oh, sent you Christmas me for cards. Not pulling a cross I call every flight. birthday. Out of my ass Nothing. at your convenience, Joan. I think I deserve, at the very least, three hundred thousand dollars. Joni, please take a seat. I think the best plan of action for everyone, and to be honest, I should have just started with this is allowing me to invest the entire 500K. Hear me out. My roommate from law school works at Citadel. Their returns are insane, but the minimum investment is $500,000. If we can be patient, we can turn this money into a sizable nest egg, but it requires the whole amount. Joni, do you need the money right now? I would like it. But do you need it? I suppose Todd and I are doing I don't have time to grow a fucking egg right now. You're just going to have to keep treading water, Rich. Trust me on this. We'll split the equity at 33%. And in 10 years... 10 years? No. No, 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 no. Let's return to the original plan, a clean three-way split. But Luke is right. In 10 years, the money will only grow. Yeah, I'm thinking sugar commodities, syrup and sorghum are on the rise right now. And if we get in before any big regime changes you in think Africa... I want to spend this on sorghum stock? It's a commodity. I don't know the difference. Which is why you should let someone who understands the markets deal with the money. Why don't we have a vote? There's three of us. That seems fair, right? Excellent idea. We should have a vote. You can't argue with democracy. So... Who here thinks that rich should have more money? And who thinks that Joan should get more money? Okay. And who thinks that I should invest the entire 500K for maximum returns with my friend at Citadel? Great. What? It's settled. What the fuck? She voted twice. That, that's voter fraud. It's two against one, Rich. Majority rule. That's democracy. Democracy is just the wealthy people here teaming up to keep me poor. I'm not wealthy. I want to be wealthy. That's why I voted with Luke. You voted against your own interests, Richard. If you would just understand that long-term growth is the surest way to build wealth, it makes sense, but you're only interested in instant gratification. A quick fix, which is why you can't be trusted with money. Case in point. Richard.
Richard, what are you doing? I know we're family, we're cousins if you consider that family, but I have a chance for once in my life to not be broke. I gotta take it. You're broke because of the choices you made in life. Go back to school, learn to code or some shit. Be competitive in a modern economy. You what? I invested it. You already invested it? Came down here yesterday. What the fuck, Luke? Well, I knew you would agree with me that investing the money would be the financially responsible decision, you know, in case something like this happened. I mean, you know, Richard, he's a deadbeat. Why are we even here then? Well, uh, legally, I had to honor the will, us coming down here and all. Plus, I do love seeing you. You are not the chief executive grandkid, okay? You cannot just do whatever you want. Okay, well, I did. Sorry, it's just that sorghum was at an all-time low, so I had Christ, to get no in Christ, no one cares about your fucking sorghum! You really want to deal with this guy. Uh, I have investment strategies too, you know? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Also, uh, there was a one-time $10,000 fee that I had to pay to join the fund with Citadel. I mean, you know, I'm okay paying it, but if you want to split it, it'd be $5,000 each. $5,000? Yeah, it's a one-time fee. You know what? Forget it. Let's go out the back. Yeah, so I got a 25% off Uber. So, I don't know if you wanted to... <gasps> Where's the fucking money? Calm down, Richard. Where's the fucking money, Lou? I invested it. You what? I gave it to Citadel. No, 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 no. Sorghum, baby, it's a solid bet. Write me a check for $166,000 right fucking now. <gasps> you Stop touch it. me like that again, and you won't see a single fucking cent of that money. I'm in charge of the fund, and I can cut you out like that. <laughs> For once in your life, just listen to people who are smarter than you. I'm living in a friend's car. Do you even know what that's like? I, I can't afford to be homeless in my own car. I, I can't eat. I can't sleep. I, 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 I can't go on like this. Please, John, can you spare me a couple hundred bucks or something? Just, just, just something to get me through the end of the month, please. I, I really can't right now. Nothing? I'm sorry, Rich. I'll tell you what I can do. Never mind the fact that you just tried to run off with the money. Or that you just physically assaulted me. I'm going to give you a monthly allowance deducted from your share on a quarterly basis. I think $600 a month is fair. Yeah, that should be enough for you to buy some clothes, save up for an apartment. 600 Anything more than that would be kind of a waste, you know? I mean, what do you think, Joan? Is that fair? It's more than fair. People would kill to have passive income like that. Here. Had this e-contract drawn up this morning. Why don't you just, uh, you know, lift your finger. Come on, I'm doing you a favor. Terrific. So, Joni, I still got that 25% uh, off if you want to split an Uber to the city. I'm good. Thanks. You sure? I think I'll take the train. Come on. Let's celebrate. All right. Suit yourself. Actually, Luke, wait up.
all I have on me.